Toronto, Winnipeg. I'm finally coming to Canada. September 7th, Toronto. September 8th, Winnipeg. Go to ChristinaPOnline.com for tickets. All right, Jean. You ready to be counted in? I'm ready, Jean. Ready in Chemesh. <laughs> Alba, Shalosh. Stein. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at. Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Where my mom's at podcast. With Christina P. Uh, uh. All right, guys, this is it. I don't even know if there are tickets left in Austin. I think we're done. Comedy Works, downtown Denver, September 14th, 15th, and 16th. ChristinaPOnline.com. Paul Verzi is here. I'm so stoked you're here. Dude, you're thank you for having me. All the way from Judor Titties, so far away. <laughs> I love you East Coast uh, comics so oh, much. Thank you. And, Th- and we never get to do stand-up together because we both came up on opposite coasts. So I'm going to tell you something. I'm not just saying this because I told you before. I keep telling them. I'm not even joking like... We do this a lot, right? Yeah. We have to do this. You know, yeah. you show up and sometimes you're like, hey, fucking and in your mind, you're, you're texting your wife like, hey, it's almost over. <laughs> you know, I'll be at the hotel soon. I can't, you know, it seems fine, but I can't wait to. Yeah. I'm a fan of you to the point where like, you, you, you know, like we I like we talk about you all the time Stop. and we're just like, how fucking funny is she? Stop. And it's like your sense of humor. So it's sweet. like so I got off the plane and I had a weird dude. I had a weird uh, plane ride. I was. What I, happened? I was sitting next to. I swear to God, dude. I came I, as soon as I came here. I just started talking to them. Like I knew them. They were like, "What's with this guy? This guy's a little too comfortable." But I needed to talk to somebody. Yeah. Because the yeah. woman, the woman next to me, yeah. uh, I think she was a sleepwalker because she was. She was Stop. out. I swear to God, dude. She was out cold, but like shot in the head out cold. You ever saw? <laughs> like she was Asian, and dude, she looked like somebody put a bullet in the back of her head. So she had this weird head tilt. So she was like this. Like and her her fucking mouth was and she was like this, yeah. And she just gets up like that. No, I, I no, Christina. I swear. Like and she that? just un- she like goes like zombie? this and she just stands up and she kind of is like looking like a zombie. And Fuck. that's what I said. And she undid undid her thing and started looking around like well, like she's get and then she just sat back down and clicked it back and was out again. And I'm going wow. like and I'm going like what the is so it was a very weird, Fuck, dude. I dude. never I, Wait, we, we so fly she, all the time. I never felt I never had never that. Never seen that. I've seen a guy next to me with full schizophrenia, like writing over writing and being crazy. Oh, that would freak me out. Yeah, I've had people clip their toenails, brush their fucking hair, and their hair flex, but that. Yeah. So she stood up, and then did what? Did where did she go? She just she stood right up. Oh okay, I was in a God. window. I was in a window. She stood up. And then, like, looked around as if she had something to do. That's what made me think that she was sleep because she was yeah. out cold, and then just did that. And then she like looked left, looked right, and then she just sat back down, clicked the belt, and was out again. And I was like, "Dude, what the? What was that? I don't know. Could it could it have been like a dream? You know, when you wake up and you're like, where the fuck am I? Like, did she forget? Because sometimes I dream on airplanes, and I forget. Like, I'll wake up, like, oh, I'm on an airplane. Yeah, but you're not gonna get up and like no. undo and like look around. Yeah, it was like I was just going like, man, it was it was a it was a weird. That's weird. And then she just went right back out. I didn't That's know if she had that. Crazy. What if she had that? What's that disease? Yes. Narc- yes. Uh, is it is smart it, Chad? The disease where you fall asleep. Narcole- narcolepsy. Yeah. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. there's a comic that has that no. in LA. Stop and it. And in the back of the room, you'll hear him like, <sighs> and you know it's him. And then he'll just like, get up. Maybe she's narcoleptic. Mid punchline. Pu- yeah, he's such a <laughs> fucking dickbag. But any, any's in there. Any, what? How do you feel about sleepwalking? Sleepwalking is. Oh, sleepwalking. Complete cap. It's false. <laughs> it's lies. It's not real. Nope. No one, everybody's faking it. They just want attention, you know? Like a lot of people, they're like, ah, I don't get enough attention. I don't have enough friends. Maybe I he can do something crazy friend. and be like. Dude, that's he, fucking He hard. thinks so much shit is cap. What else is cap? What else is cap? Fear. Color blindness. Color blindness. <laughs> Anxiety. 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 OCD. Indigo. Nicknames. Cap. Yeah, yeah, it's all Pluto. cap. It's all cap. Yeah. I, I know a woman, I, this is real. I know a woman who, um, who for 15 years, they've been married. She said they have two boys. They've been married for uh, 20 years. And, uh, she gets um she gets vi- she sleepwalks but she gets violent 
and she she starts hitting him and stuff and he's been patient and that we went out talking and uh he had uh he had a kidney uh, procedure done Damn. and in the middle of she woke up and tried punching the kidney Stop. right after surgery Stop. and yeah so and and she went to a hotel they have to put like something at the door so she doesn't go out yes. and stuff yeah i mean that's what what's this there's that's, a comic who has it was it is it uh mike Narcolepsy. berbiglia who, like, no no jumped, yes berbiglia he like jumped jump out of a window. window and shit how about that any mike berbiglia had a whole book and a movie and the show about it. He's full of oh, shit. Oh, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> so you... Pussy, <laughs> liar. <laughs> yeah, you what? mean to tell me he's profiting yes. off of this lie? He's oh, profiting. wow. Wow. Surprise, surprise. Such a piece of shit, Eddie. You're just <laughs> such a piece of shit. I like the way he thinks, though, because a yes. lot of people are full of shit. Full of shit. Oh, my God. You ever hear podcast stories of people lie? You, you think know, so? Oh, I know. I know. How do you know? Oh, we'll I, talk I'm off so... the air. Oh, oh. We'll talk. oh, these fucking guys coming on podcast talking shit. I'm so I'm so gullible. I'm always like, what? That <laughs> really happened? <laughs> so so a who, ghost picked me up. We hung out, and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna, gonna That's say? true. Sometimes, yeah, some, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. you're like, that didn't maybe yeah. it didn't happen exactly. <laughs> uh, so, Paul, first of all, let's talk about your new special, Nocturnal Admissions. What a yes. great title. For a special on Netflix, is it streaming right now? Yeah, it's streaming right oh now. Oh my god, it's streaming right now on Netflix, man. And you it were did, so funny. It did, dude. Oh, thank you so much. Shit. It did. It did really. It did really well. What it was was I was. This is my my issue was I didn't really start going hard with clips and all this life until like before a little before so pandemic I started and my wife goes like three years ago, three plus years. My wife's like, yeah, you're putting out like specials and like you're in every club and you're working, but like you got to put shit out. And I, and I had yeah. that thing where I didn't know if it was like an insecurity or like, yes. does somebody want to see me making eggs? Yeah. Like does somebody want to see me sing? And I didn't realize that once clips started coming out and podcasts got yes. videos. So I learned a lot. Like that was the one thing where I was like, no, I'm about the art. That Same. dumb shit. But that's, Ugh. that's a, a lot of people shit on New York comics because of that. As much as they yes. say like our stand up, I think like the LA Po podcasters the they yeah. were like oh no it's a business you got to treat it like everything and we're like fuck i'm gonna go do spots yeah. <laughs> i know i'm gonna do a 25 dollars spot because i'm a real artist that that was something that and once that changed and everything i think that things are starting to really move but the special did great out of the gate and that Amazing. that that made that meant a lot to me because i put a lot of work into it where did you film it i filmed it at levity live in west nyack oh yeah i love that club yeah, i the, know that one that's a the, good one on the top of the mall yeah but you, you go in there it's and a great it's, room. it's a beautiful beautiful it's room a killer room west yeah. nyack is that where all like the his not the hasidic the orthodox yeah. jews are uh, yes yeah. like like in the next town <laughs> Yeah, I stayed at the hotel when I did Nyack. Oh yeah, and uh, it was full of Orthodox Jews. And yeah. I remember the fire alarm went off, and all of them were outside with me. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, <laughs> what is this? And they let the kids were running around, jumping in the fountains, and all the, those fucking squigglies and yeah. the women with their wigs. Yeah, that's the white Sully's shirts coast. and the black pants. Yeah, and shit. And yeah. stupid tassels, right? Is yeah. that what they Where's Nadav? He's our Jew. He can tell us about this. Oh, you're Jewish too, John. I am. Yeah, you know about these fucking curly cues. So. Uh, Nocturnal admissions. Yeah, 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 you're right. You know what's interesting? God, I feel like you're just the person I need to talk to today. Because I've been avoidant of TikTok. Yeah. I, as much as I love curating it, I've yeah. just been like, I don't, I'm a Gen Xer. Like, who the fuck, like you said, yeah, yeah. Who wants, nobody wants to see you put on makeup. Yeah. Yeah, they do. It's so uh, weird. It's, 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 uh, things that you don't think will get hit. <laughs> like I did this thing, I did this thing last night. I never do shit like, like just, I like to plug my shit, put yes. some clips out, funny clips of podcasts and funny stand up clips. But I did this thing where like, I noticed women are going on Instagram and like, Tell they, they whisper. I know. They go like I this, know. they go like this. Hey guys. So, yeah. so like this, she goes, she goes, Hey guys. So I was wondering, <laughs> Like, I'm thinking about starting a book club, but do you think people would really, like, like come? Because I don't know if they're going to experience this. And I'm going, why are you whispering? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. And I just joked and yes. did that, and, like, people were like, Millions. everybody likes oh it. Oh, my God. And it's, it was literally, like, a 15-second like thing. Yes. It's so funny you say that, because I was watching Cardi B, and she did a Get Ready With Me, and her <laughs> thing, she whispered, too, uh, and it, which is weird, because Cardi yeah. never whispers, and she yeah. was like, so I started my day. I woke up at 5 a.m. and culture was up and he had breakfast too. I'm like, what bitch? Why are you whispering? Like she's got the tiny mic, you know, that stupid yeah. fucking tiny mic everybody gets on Amazon. Or they'll talk about their kids a lot. Yeah. But it's, I think it's all for them. It's all. Yeah. It's not for, they're yeah. not looking for advice from a stranger. Oh, when I hear, when I see major celebrities and I'm talking like Cardi B Kardashian yeah. and they're like, I made breakfast for my kids today. And then I tell you like, bitch, no, you didn't. 
Like, no, you fucking did it. You have five housekeepers, yeah. two chefs, <laughs> 10 nannies. Yeah. I know you're not doing any of this shit. Yeah, Susan made dinner. <laughs> yeah, you're not doing any of this. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's it's such bullshit. It's such fucking and, bullshit. And they're not asking for advice from from the so from the public. I know. You know, they're not asking like so like are nap habits. <laughs> Should I it, they don't, their nap habits. Is it changing? They're not sleeping during the night. It's like you're not taking care. You're sleeping during the night. You're no. <laughs> oh yeah, it's bullshit. It's total yeah. bullshit. So you've got two children. You've got a ten yeah. year old and yeah. Well, Lucas is going. Sophia is going oh. to be. Sophia is going to be eleven Sunday. So I'm getting Congrats. home. I'm getting home Sunday for to be with her, and uh, Lucas will be. Oh, dude, it's going to be fourteen. Oh my god! Next month. So so that's I've got wild. it's wild, dude. I have a, a four and a seven year old. So you're at the next oh, okay. tier. But you have the same age, you have the same age difference, which okay. is which is great. It's a good because they'll be if there's there's seven, which means one will be a senior, and one will be a freshman. So your oldest will be able to have like a little bit of a lookout until he gets out. Yeah, that's cool as shit. You know, it is. It is. So like, what's it like having children that age? Because right now I'm in the point where the four year old is almost going to be five, so he's a little more regulated. He's not like completely freaking out. Yeah, the yeah. seven year old's cool as shit. Like we yeah. show heart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, did, so tell me yeah. what I have to look forward to. No, I think I think the age is now where they're at. Like it's you know they're it's like she's talking to friends about boys, which I which is like. You know, she's oh watching like God. Outer Banks and like what she's watching the show Outer Banks. Oh, what is that? It's like it's basically like this generation. It's basically like nine hundred two one zero on the water. Oh shit! I fucking love nine hundred two one zero. I gotta watch this. It's like nine hundred two one over. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she'll like, but she said something to me that freaked me out the other day. She's like, "Oh my God, he's hot!" Like, she, and I was just like, "Wait, you're ten, dude? What?" And she's like, "Shut up, Dad! You don't, you know." And like, I was just like, "Oh, that's the." But she's a very strong willed. You know, they're that's very, good. they're very different. He. She's like me. My, I talk about it in my act. She's very much like me. Like she says it out, what she feels. If you hurt her feelings, she's gonna tell you. Okay. She's very strong and independent. You know, she's but she's like a little bit of vi she has. I have that Sicilian <laughs> vengeance. So she's got a little violence. She's got That's violence. Excellent. Yeah, she's got violence. Um, Good. One of my neighbors almost killed me uh, with a car by what? accident. Yeah, doing this joke in my act where like my neighbor is cool with me and the little and his daughter is like best friends with my little girl. And uh, Thanksgiving morning, I'm walking my dog. And like a movie, he dropped something in his truck and he's going up a blind hill and I'm walking my dog. He had to like swerve out of the way. And my daughter was like, Fuck. my daughter is like, I'll, she, I, she's like, I'll kill them all. Yeah. She, said, she said, even my friend, I'm going to kill. She said, I'll kill them all. And I was, she's like, if they ever do it, they get you, I'll get them. Like, she's got that. And, and it's like, you know, and she's always had from a little girl. She's got that. She said one time, one time she said, I'll kill that person and dance on their grave. She said that. <laughs> And I said, dance on there. Yes. Like, that's a fuck. But my son is so, my son is just, you know, my son's good student, good basketball player. Yeah. But he's got this Gemini thing, which is yeah. a real thing. And I didn't realize that. I didn't believe in any of that shit. But he's got this thing where I'm going, dude, what just happened? Yeah. Like, you just fuck. And I, got, I, got a couple, <laughs> I got a couple friends who are Gemini. And like, I'm like, who am I? It's a thing. So, so what does he, does he just like, his mood he'll, flips? His mood will flip. Like, yeah. he'll go from being like this easy, go so smart to when it's mood flips, he just gets, and I'm going, Lucas, what are you? He's going somewhere. Yeah, it's he's a, in his head somewhere. It's, yeah. There's a, there's a dark space that we go to. I, I do. Yeah. So wait, he's 14. Though. He'll be 14. Has May he always 29th. been like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's just who the personality is. Yeah. He's, he's always been like, he's like the greatest. And, and even when he's like that, uh, but we try to tell him, like, do you do, you're going there, dude. Like, there's no, and he'll just be like, he'll just go to his room where my daughter just lays it on and puts it on the table. Sure. So you he's know. guarded. He's a little more. Yeah. I think that's how it goes with two. Yeah. One of them's more guarded, and one yeah. of them's like, I love you, I love you, I love you. Give love, I love, I love, yeah. I love. Just more <laughs> emotional. Um, you know yeah. what's funny? The difference I was thinking about between boys and girls is that yeah. you, I say crazy things to my boys, and then girls say crazy things to you. And what you're saying about your girl yeah. being like, I will fucking murder this yeah. entire neighborhood. Yeah. And eat their intestines. And like, that's how women are. She She's very open about that, which is kind of, it's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, in, in, uh, in Nocturnal, so cool. in Nocturnal, in the special, I taught I, her, um, she, you know, she begged us to get her hamster and the hamster, dude, I'm not even saying, this is not even to be funny. This is real shit. Uh, she, the hamster bit her and, she, and then got loose. And she said, if you find him, I want you to kill him. She said that. She said, if you find him, and I thought she was going to go, Daddy. She's like, if you find him, I want him. He bit me. He, I, I love that thing. She goes, I used to love that thing. I don't care if you kill him, if you find it. She's, and like, we've been like. Wow. Yeah. Is she okay? <laughs> 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 I 
I'm not so sure now. Yeah, she's What's no the like deal? that's a yeah. Like why, that's, why? Why? Sorry. Why to kill him? I'm not sure I understand. I I'm like I don't know if there's like some deep rooted Sicilian <laughs> mafia thing in our past, and she just got it. You tried to escape me. You're never coming back. I loved him. He bit me. Yeah. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Probably. <laughs> she's got yeah. She just has a very like don't you know don't talk to me like that. I love it. You know you know you hurt my feelings. I don't like Good. that. Good. And I, I like that. I think for women especially, yeah, you need to have piss and vinegar on deck because dudes <laughs> will try to fuck, <laughs> fuck with. Like I'll tell yeah. you, I've talked about stuff that's happened to me as a teenager. One thing I was never fucked with, yeah. praise Allah, yeah, was sexual. Nobody's to me did me fuck with me yeah. ever. And yeah. I do think part of that. I'm yeah. not saying I'm not victim blaming. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of that is me being like, nope. Fucking no, bro. I n- nope. Yeah. Stay the fuck away from me, homie. Like I know I'm. That's actually important because that was Ooh. your senses. That was your senses. Like when you felt yes. that, when you felt that vibe, nah. you were like, nah. nah. And, and yes. some and some people don't. You and you know? have to teach kids. I believe in in telling them just listen to that shit, dude. Yeah. Don't, and I also don't make anybody hug anybody. Go hug and goodbye. No, 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 no. You don't have to fucking touch anybody. You want to touch them? Don't force that shit on people. Yeah. I, 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 if you're not interested in the best cookware available, go ahead and tap the fast forward button a few times. If you're still here, you made the right call. That's because today's sponsor, Hexclad, has revolutionized the cookware industry with its patented hybrid cookware. It's incredibly durable, combining the performance of stainless steel and the easy cleanup of nonstick. They also look incredibly sleek and sexy. Hexclad products also come with a lifetime warranty. That's right. These are literally the last set of pots and pans you will ever have to buy. For a limited time only, our listeners get 10% off their entire order with the code WMMA at hexclad.com. Support our show and check them out at H-E-X-C-L-A-D.com and use the code WMMA. Your kitchen will truly never be the same. Let me tell you something. I have a set of these. They are fantastic. They work like so well and they are so easy to clean and they look like they're just high quality and I know we're never going to have to buy another pot or pan again. And I'm so thankful. How are you going to have that special someone over for dinner with those nasty pots and pans you're working with? For a limited time, get 10% off with the code WMMA at hexclad.com. That's 10% off hexclad.com with code WMMA. Bon appetit. Let's eat with Hexclad's revolutionary cookware. This episode is sponsored by Sundays for Dogs. Sundays is air dry dog food made from a short list of human grade ingredients. It contains 90% meat, 10% vegetables, and 0% synthetic nutrients. Besides USDA beef and all natural chicken, you'll find digestive aids like pumpkin and ginger, plus disease fighting antioxidants. Dog parents report noticeable health improvements in their pups, including softer fur, fresher breath, better poops, and more energy. Boy, ain't that the truth. That pumpkin really helps firm up Bitsy's turds like nothing else. And that that's always good for your dog. Trust me. It tastes great, too. They love it. Unlike other fresh dog food, Sundays is zero prep, zero mess, and zero stress. Sundays is shelf stable, which makes it easy to feed your pup top quality food. Every order ships right to your door, so you'll never worry about running out of dog food again. We worked out a special deal for our dog loving listeners. Get 35% off your first order of Sundays. Go to Sundays for dogs.com slash WMMA or use code WMMA at checkout. That's S U N D A. Y S F O R D O G S dot com forward slash W M M A. Upgrade your pup to Sundays and feel good about the food you feed your dog. And that's you know, and that's kind of you know, not to get too not to get too heavy on Let's the get on, heavy. on the pod, I love but it. like the shit going on in the country with like the sexualization of this, like it's really like yes. there's things that just don't need to be seen. And it and here's the thing, it doesn't need to be political. It's it shouldn't be political. Yes. There there should be nothing on either side of the uh, yes. aisle yeah, it's about that it has nothing to it's do with the fact that like the and the fact that it's being made like that is making some people defend 
certain things that are just wrong. Yeah. It's like just let you know, when we were kids, man, we just would go <laughs> out, we would figure shit out. Yeah. <laughs> you just figure shit out, I dude. Know. You know, I got a you know, the I got a boner in math class because of this. <laughs> I got a boner in math class, I was confused by it, then I figured it out. I talked to yeah. my doctor, I figured it out. Yeah. Talked to my, my mom or dad. So and, and that's not that's Do not you, there are you, anymore. Are you talking about like the um the transgender education stuff like early or what do we yeah, no, I just, just sex ed. I just general? feel like all everything, like I feel like sex ed in general, and the things that kids are seeing or being <sighs> told lot. that it's that it's it's like I feel like we didn't have that a lot, right? Well, yeah, because here's the thing: when I was in, um, I grew up on in Los Angeles, so we had yeah. sex ed in like seventh grade in public school, and then in Catholic school, like in tenth grade, which was way fucking late. Like half yeah. those sluts were already doing stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I think what's premature is like, which gender are you? Like I, I was, my friend sent me a video today of like a, yeah. a non-binary person explaining that to kindergartners. And I'm like, I don't think they're there yet. That's what, that's kind they're of what, not there. Yeah. Like I, I don't, yeah. And I don't think it should and be if confused. They are, sorry, just to, and and yeah. if they are there, you will know. Right. It will present itself and then you can deal with it. Yeah. I think, uh, I think like. Anybody that's transgender or feels like there's something else that they're not like, I, f I feel for those people. Like if yeah, you, if you, if you like are living a certain way and you look like a, a male or female and you feel the opposite, that's one thing. But to just kind of automatically make a decision for other people, yeah. that's, that's the thing. You yeah. know, it's like kind of let people kind of figure things out. I saw something online. It was like an adult, like do, giving like a fake lap dance and like little kids were watching it aye, aye, aye. and I'm going like, that's not okay. I, I don't know. give a fuck about politics or anything like that. A kid shouldn't see that. It's too so overtly sexual. Yeah, I saw somebody yeah. like at a pride parade and they were like, do you think this is a good environment for children? It was like a woman wearing a um, a harness and her tits were out. And she's like, yeah, it's great environment. I'm like, it's, yeah. it's a little sexualized for a child, regardless of identity. Like, yeah. I don't want my kid watching a guy with an ass butt plug yeah. with like a horse tail on it <laughs> in the middle of a fucking day. Like, he, he doesn't need to learn that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like a like toddler shouldn't see like yeah. hats that say like my <laughs> pussy, my life, or, and it's just like what? Yeah, like <laughs> no. And I love gays. I love the transgender. I'm fine. That's the thing. With everybody. That's that's the thing. I am yes. exactly the same way. But it's just it seems like it's a lot for kids now. Like th it's they too see much. things. You see things on on um, on TikTok too. That's yeah. why like I'm I'm on I'm a weird thing with TikTok. I'm on like the you know. You see those Chinese kids putting those ten year olds putting the guns together? No, that? but I love that. Let's find it. Let's look at Dude, it. Can you find a, it? There's a video. So there's a video those of Chinese, like man. ten year olds in a classroom <laughs> just fucking taking apart a handgun, putting it together. Great. And then you see our ten year olds fucking <laughs> <laughs> just like look at this. Look at this, dude. Holy shit. Look at man. this. All of them. Like that is like now that's what I'm talking about. We got to teach our kids that. And then show, yeah, and, and then show like a Florida class from a 10 year old. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. It's There'll like, be a fuck less, less school shootings if, you know, look at this. people saw this. I, how, I mean, this is, that's crazy though. Is that real? Is that like a, cl like what class is that? Is that like That'd be a lot of effort to be a fake sketch. Right? Yeah, like <laughs> what is that like? Yeah, right. But what is that like their version of shop? Like what? <laughs> I don't understand why. Yeah. Are this, is this to fight the Americans? I don't know, but it's definitely scary. Fuck, like, that it's was weird. cool. It's weird to see that. I <laughs> love TikTok. I, I get all my news from TikTok <laughs> now. <laughs> I do. It's, can I tell yeah. you why? Yeah. <laughs> because, oh, this is so funny. Thank God American children have studied genders in preparation for this. <laughs> exactly. So stupid. Yeah, and we're worried about the point zero 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 one percent of people that yeah. may be transgender. Literally, it's, it is a such a small minority. It's so funny it's like so the silly. things that we concentrate on, and then China's it. doing that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, the China just has kicked our ass so hard already. Like it's over. It, we should be learning Chinese. So anyway, is, and also too, yeah, like I don't like YouTube. I don't let my kids watch YouTube. I mean. Come on, look at the content we put on there. I don't want my kids coming across. I think about it, like what they'll see us because they're going to watch us and they're going to hear everything that we did. I know. But here's the deal is that I'm friends with people who, oh, well, Jenny Pentland, who's been on the show. Her mother is Roseanne Barr. And Jenny never watched Roseanne, never really? watched 
was kind of aware. Yeah. But they're not interested, I've found. My son celebrity is, kids. My son is not interested. Like when my special came out, he'll watch clips and he'll <laughs> like them real quick. And I go, Oh, you liked the clip. Did you see? He goes, I just liked it. I didn't yeah. watch it. I don't want to watch <laughs> they it. They don't want to watch it. They don't want to watch they it. They don't care. Like I remember one time Tommy was on, I don't know, some late night show, like maybe Colbert or something. Yeah. And was telling a story about our son Ellis. And he's like, Ellis, look, this is about you. And Ellis was like, What? Okay, thanks, Dad. Like, didn't even didn't care. look. Yeah. Just back to the iPad. They don't, yeah. Don't fucking care. It's funny. Jim Carrey was talking about how he did something with, like, uh, he, he. all his daughter cared about was that he knew Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> and, he's like, and he's like, he's like Jim Carrey. And she's yeah. like, yeah, I don't, but they don't, don't care. care. No, they don't care. Don't fucking care. No, they don't care. Yeah, so I don't let them watch YouTube. Um, I'm probably not, I'm not going to let them be on Instagram or socials. Okay. I don't know. But then I say that now, and then... You know, if everyone else is doing it, you you don't want your kid to be that dork. Like, remember when we were yeah. growing up and there was that one fucking dork whose parents yeah. wouldn't let them watch television? Yeah. And so you're like, oh, you don't know what Silver Spoons is, homo? Like, you don't know yeah. what fucking different strokes is? Yeah, I don't want them to be loser. the kid that's like upset that they got a 92. <laughs> You remember exactly, that kid yeah. and like and I'd be yeah. like, dude, a ninety, yeah. They but yeah. it was like because there was like so much all the all the fun stuff was out, yeah. And like that's yes. what it was. That's not a good way to grow up. It's not a good way. We we got them phones. Um, oh, I have a great story about. I have a great story. Uh, we got my daughter my phone. So Lucas, we were like, you have to finish grade school to get a phone. Yeah. So we got him. A, we got him. A, you know, he had to get into sixth grade. My daughter was in fourth grade, and she goes, I just see her and my wife conversing. And they're having a little, and I'm going, what's going on? And my wife goes, your daughter would like an iPhone. And I go, so if you can't, I said, Lucas had to wait. You got to wait. And um, she's she was playing soccer, and her soccer team was real, real bad, right? Mm. Real bad. They never they never won. We would travel on Saturday mornings oh, like an hour, that, and it would be dude. like 4 nothing, you know, 5 nothing, And everyone would be like, yeah, hey, you want Dunkin' Donuts? Like getting Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> and just like getting through the drive was all the, our morning. Uh. So they never won, and, and we would always lose. And, and the last game of the season, they, not only did they not win, they, they got one goal all year. Oh, no. So jokingly, I say to my daughter, you want a phone? I go score, I go score tomorrow on your last game, and I'll get you an iPhone. Shut and my up. wife goes, Paul, it's like two years before Lucas. I go, they haven't scored a fucking goal. <laughs> they haven't let, they're not going to win. They haven't scored a goal. So we get down there, drive an hour down closer to the city. I remember it was like wet on the grass. It was like rainy the night before. And they're tired. They get there like early. I'm exhausted. I'm yeah, miserable. It's, it's six worst. thirty, dude. I got my kids got sports. Parents listening to this it's know it's worst. just it's just sports, and it gets worse. That's another thing. Uh -huh. You were asking about the age. It's gonna be one's gonna have this. The other parents gotta take. I mean, it's nah. it's wild, dude. I'm not doing it. They're just yeah. gonna stay home. <laughs> if, it, if it doesn't come to the house, I'm not fucking doing it. You're hoping for uncoordinated kids. Oh, for sure. Yeah. No fucking way. So the first half of the game, she's dragging ass. She's tired. I see her. <sighs> And uh, I'm like, yeah, it's, and then we were losing the second half starts and she just starts running towards the goal. And now all the parents know but they're like, oh, I heard Verzi, uh, Verzi bribed his daughter with a thing. So everybody, <laughs> everybody on the sidelines know. Right. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden she just starts running and the ball like ricochets and just gets in front of her. And it's just her <gasps> dribbling the ball and the goalie. I swear Stop. to God, Christine. And she kicks the ball. And the goalie reaches up. It goes over the goalie's head and hand and bounces in and gets a goal. Everybody goes nuts and everyone's pointing at me and my daughter's running down <laughs> and she just goes, iPhone 11. <laughs> and everybody. Ev and, 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 and my wife is like, you know, are you? Yeah. I was like, of course I'm going to yeah, do it. Of course I'm going to do it. It's amazing. And, I, and she got the phone because I of that. I love that she got story. The, but that, that's, but that. that lifted her and it also let, and my son was, my son was not happy. Mm. My son was like, what the, he actually said, he, he cursed. He goes, what the fuck? And I go, what? Yeah. And I go, what do you mean? And he goes, what the fuck? You, you, I had to wait. I go, dude, I, didn't, I had to tell him. I go, dude, I, I'll take you to the mall. I didn't think she was going <laughs> to. Like, I, I, I'll take you to the mall for a pair of sneakers. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think she was going to fuck. Nobody yeah. thought she was going to score, dude. Yeah. And then I go, you got to admit. He goes, I, he goes, yeah, dad. He goes, I, I didn't think they were going to. Like, I was like, they lost every game. They scored one goal. I jokingly said it last night. And, yeah. your, and your sister did it. It's amazing. And then I said, I said, you should go up to her. That's the one, if I'm being honest, that's the one thing me and my wife are having an issue. We want to work with is him being a little more. They have, they, she loves him. Yes. to death yes. and he he loves her but in a harder way what do you mean loves who the, the my, sister my, or my, the mom no my Your my, wife. my son loves my daughter uh huh but in a he doesn't show it the way like my daughter's like she's mm. like a rock star to him She he's everything to her mm. and he's a little hard on her and I don't you know and, and he's starting to, I go buddy you gotta you know one time he said to her um, he said he said shut up to her and I said come here I talk to you I said you can ne never tell your sister shut up again I said, and he's like, I said, don't ever 
fucking tell your sister shut up again because she's going to have a boyfriend one. She mm. loves you. She loves you and looks up to you. Now, what if she has a boyfriend she loves? She's going to think that that's okay. Mm. And then I said, and if that happens, then I'll fucking kill everybody. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I don't want that because mm-hmm. I don't want you guys visiting me in jail because I'll kill everybody. <laughs> And, Absolutely. And, yeah, and and I think when I said that, I go, you want, I go, she love, you want somebody that she loves to talk to her like that, and she's gonna think it's okay because you did, and I know that that was a mm. lot for him to take, mm. but somebody was like, holy, that was like heavy parenting, but that's good. I, I think he got it, because it's like you can't like that's your that's your little that's sister, your sister, you know, and God forbid something happens to me and your mother, or whatever, we're not here, like that's that's just you two, mm-hmm. and that's the same with your sons. And yes. people don't people don't understand that. It's yes. like parents get old, need help. Yeah. God forbid something happens. Having a sibling is a blessing. I know. It's what I tell them all the yeah. time. I go, look, when they hate each other, which they fight and they're best friends too, yep. and I'm like, you guys, you're going to be with each other for forever. Yeah. You're forever, bros. <laughs> you, you got old parents. Like, yeah. you're going to have each other. So be kind. You're going to have each other for the rest of your lives. Isn't it crazy that like cool. in 15 years we're old? Like old, I know. old, old. I know. Like now we're middle-aged, but like in 15 years Dude, we're like fucking. I know. It's so, it's so, like every 20 years is a different quarter and we're in like the third quarter my mother says, that's crazy it's fucking crazy <laughs> my mother said something the other day she goes Jesus yeah she goes, i'm lucky if i have like 15 christmases left doesn't that suck and when she said it it like you don't even you're like holy shit i know so what are you gonna do i know <laughs> I, i'm serious like what do you and i know that my kids are gonna grow up and be teenagers soon too so i yeah. feel like i'm savoring every day of seven yeah and four because i'm like that it just goes so quickly it's funny you said that because I saw Fuck. my son the other day talking and I just said, I wish I saw pictures of them younger and I, I wished it was it was like a little bit because now it's changing. Yeah, His voice gone. is changing, you know. And then he's, I mean, not to be, he's touching his D and stuff. Does that I'm freak sure, you out? I mean, look, I don't, I'm, no, it doesn't freak me out, but you know, I don't, I'm, I'm imagining that's what like frequent bathroom visits are. I don't know. God, how do you deal you with know, that? Because I've got two boys. Yeah, we're gonna be covered in jizz. Dude, you're just, you're just gonna just there's yeah. just gonna be showers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like just and like the the thing is too is like they're so in love with their peeners and like yeah. mom look at this and they're always like you know yeah. playing with their dongs and peeing outside <laughs> nature pee and I'm like don't put your fucking dongs away like I tell yeah. them put your penis away. So yeah, I just imagine it's just gonna be like. Dick City, dude. <laughs> uh, Dick uh, City. Yeah, yeah, man. Did you, did you talk to your son about that stuff? That, I'm, I'm really not good with that. Yeah. I'm really not good with that. Like, I think, like, if he oh. comes to me about, if he comes to me about girls and, like, women, I think I'll be able to say, hey, you know, like, with dating tips or advice, you know, I was always a relationship guy, so I think I could help with that somewhat, but, um, you know, I had a little bit of game, um, yeah. but I, I don't know about the sexual stuff. Ugh. I don't know if I think I'm gonna leave that to their mother. Yeah, okay. She she could deliver it better. Yeah, I think that and like my <laughs> my neighbor was telling me that his son got into massive trouble because some kid took a photo of him. His, his boy is like 11 or something. Yeah. Um, I guess partially nude or something, and wow. then the photo was text message to some other kid, and it was in Whoa. a hole. So like, your kids can't send. No. nude anything no no that's one thing that i that's... i will tell them you don't there's none of there's no oh my god internet shit there's no online because that's forever out there can you imagine if we had that stuff as teenagers oh. just how tempting that is yeah to, here's my boobs and you send it to the guy you like oh my fucking god and then he sends it to everybody like that could have happened to me so fucking easy. I look. I'm just saying yeah. there might be some pictures out, out there, there from the '90s when you would get that shit developed at like yeah. the, the photo man, and you're like, well, there, there was my boyfriend's gr- dick in that <laughs> bunch of photos. <laughs> yeah, who knows what's out there oh. in like a Polaroid? Yeah. Um, there was a girl in my high school who pictures were going around, oh. and and it was it was like really graphic sexual stuff. Was it her vag? And this is oh that you saw her giant? like like the whole thing. She was just like posing, and it was going through the high school. And I'll never forget, uh, I was in detention, and she was in the detention cubicle next to me after, and I'll never forget, she was just like, uh, yeah, you know what I'm in here for, and I was like, yeah, I heard, and she just goes, hey, did you see the pictures? Uh-uh. I swear to God, she goes, hey, Paul, did you like them? 
And I, dude, I just started, I was like, no. <laughs> Bless you. I was like, all right. <laughs> she got a bone there. I was just like, they were great. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, that, that happened. And that's a nightmare for a parent. The parents had to come in. The parents had to see the pictures. The parents Stop. had to see. Oh, the whole, that's why she got detention. The whole pa- parents had to go and talk to the principal. It was like, this is naked, like sexual acts with a boyfriend stuff, all that. Fuck. You know, so it's like, that's one thing where like with phones, it's easier to, for people to yeah. click on it. So like, that's something that I'm going to make sure because that's a nightmare. And then that's your reputation through school oh yeah Ugh. that's it now you're forever known as the pussy girl and the the pictures the vagina girl whatever like you're always that yeah it's so funny because there's this girl that did butt sex and um <laughs> in, ninth grade. in ninth grade yeah so we all call her butt sex becky and like that stuck for the entire like you know what i'm saying like once you do something and it's your nickname and now it follows you forever <laughs> I'm so, that's another thing I'm glad I didn't okay I didn't I didn't I don't think I got a sexual nickname no I was very on, <laughs> I was very on the down lows I had like one you know I, I was like a one one guy gal I, yeah yeah boyfriends you know? I was always like that too like yeah. a relationship thank god dude a yeah. sexual nickname through school oh my god oh god that's so embarrassing or be or like being known as like we knew a kid that like was, he had like a tiny dick and everybody oh, I mean you're talking like a, like do it talking like a pinky dick yeah and like people knew and it was just like how did you how did you find out like it was sports, fucked up they right? set him no they set him up they were just like they were, just, <laughs> the fucking they, world, they were like everybody was like saying like how their dicks were smaller than they were and then he was like, yeah, dude, mine's like four. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, my dick's like four inches, like thinking. Stop. And we were like, four? And they were like, dude, his dick is four inches. And then it was just like, yeah, Stop. yeah. Yeah, kids were mean, man. So fucking mean. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what I think about. Everybody is like, kids are just so innocent. I'm like, no, kind of, but they're psychotic. Like, they... Like my, we found a snake in our backyard, and the first inclination my sons had was to kill it or throw it in the river. Like, yeah. are you fucking crazy? Oh, dude, they're vicious. I did things when I was younger. Need to be civilized. Uh, that I'm really not proud of. We had a we had a pool, <laughs> and I would skim okay. The let's pool. let's do it. What's the most psychotic shit you did as a kid? Booty bo. It sounds funny, but having it not so much. That's why I'm so excited to tell you about Lumi, the world's best whole body deodorant. It's clinically proven to control odor everywhere, pits, privates, and beyond for a whopping 72 hours. As an OBGYN, Lumi's founder, Dr. Shannon Klingman, met thousands of women concerned with odor below the belt. Through clinical testing, she discovered it wasn't the vagina to blame, but bacteria on the skin. So she created Lumi, a pH-optimized, aluminum-free deodorant that actually works and works everywhere, with over 150,000 five-star reviews to prove it. Special offer, new customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with code WMMA. 30 at lumideodorant.com. Really, this stuff is powerful. Uh, I love their their deodorant just for my armpits, and I gotta tell you, I'm I'm thrilled to put it everywhere else because I it's doing great so far. Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, and that's the one I love. Cream tube deodorant, even better. Two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi Starter Pack with code WMMA30 at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code WMMA30. Oh, dude! I, I, we would do graffiti. We, we did graffiti in a building and then tried to burn it down. What did I talk about? Boys love arson. I, I was just talking to like, was it Rob Eiler? We brought somebody just burned down. I every ex boyfriend of mine has burned down a building. <laughs> it's like it's like this in is us. So funny, yeah. We got spray cans and we all had our tag names and shit. Yeah, your aerosol so, shit. Yeah. So then yeah. I was like, we're gonna go. There was an abandoned building in a city, in a big city. Always. And I go, well, let's go do it. So we did our tags. And we went to the gas station and we just got lighter fluid and we put it on the wall and we just started Stop. spraying it all over the I swear. First, <laughs> and here's the funny thing. I love that. And, I, and you know what's the dumbest thing? No one's going to see your art. You just did it and then you're burning it down. Like nobody's going to see that you're fucking tagging yeah. up the place. Gonna be, yeah. Oh, that guy's good at graffiti. It's like, yeah. no, we're just going to spray this and then light it on fire. And oh then we went and God. then we went to the park and like four hours later, 
we heard and saw the, the and all of the fire and these firemen went in and I was at my friend's house eating dinner and my the the phone rang You're and sweating. somebody was like, dude, your mom is on the phone and she does not sound fucking. And I answered the phone and she, did you burn down a fucking building and put people's lives at risk? And I was, oh, dude, that was a tough one, man. So what did she do to punish you for that? Like what happened? What was she your was, dad? She was, my, my parents got divorced uh, when I was five. And, and my, you're a comedian now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and my dad wasn't there. Like my dad's like still. My dad's great. My dad's like over the top Italian, Sicilian guy from the Bronx who lives in West Palm Beach now. Hates it down there. Yeah, you know, you know, he's always complaining about something. But West Palm's know. nice though. Yeah, yeah, but he's like they're they're all crazy down here. The bad doctors are <laughs> stupid down here. It's not like New York. Yeah, of course. You know, nothing's he, like the coast. His big thing is he went to the doctor, and the the main doctor's not there. They have that like. You know, like the physician's assistant. That's that it. That shit fucking kills me. And my me. dad goes, "What's Don't. a, what's a?" Yeah. So, but he's like so over the top. So he's like, "What's a physician <laughs> assistant?" I want the real guy. I got what you know, and and yes. then and, and he's like rude about it. Yeah, I am. You too. know, my dad is like I'm the one thing. My dad is embarrassingly rude. <laughs> yeah, my mother was embarrassingly. Rude. Is he crazy too? He's no, he's not crazy. He just grew up like you know that that thing in The Sopranos where there were like the firstborn child that's a son in a Sicilian family is Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's it. You know, like he was just very like, I remember one time we were in Italy on a tour and we had to sit and people shared this big table and like this Chinese family had to like sit with us. And my dad goes, no, <laughs> I swear to God, dude. And I was fucking mortified. And this like little Chinese man is looking at us and my dad's going, no, no it's family. What are you, what are they doing the fuck here? Out of here. Yeah, no, like literally that. like that. Yeah. And me and my brother were fucking mortified. So embarrassing. Oh, dude. My, my dad will so hand a plate back and go, this is not cooked right. I know the owner. Oh, and we're just fuck. going like, yeah, a lot of people know the owner. Oh, a lot of people. God. Dude, Tim Dillon's mom is um, was, is schizophrenic and mine was too. Oh, wow. And he and I talked about this, how like schizophrenic, so crazy people love to abuse wait staff. They lo it's is like, that right? I think so. It sounds like it. <laughs> well, he wasn't schizophrenic. I don't. But just like, uh, you mean, like, like okay, people like, love to abuse the most vulnerable people in uh, the public, which are servers. My mother one time. This is so. <laughs> you're gonna have to bleep this out. Just spoiler alert. Uh, my mother and I went to a sushi restaurant in the valley one time, and the the lady sat us uh, by the bathroom. Yeah. And my mother took it personally. She was like, she sat us back here because we are white. I'm like, wait, what? She's oh. like, that stupid bitch sat us down Whoa. here. And I was like, she's not even a fucking <laughs> first of all, right? Isn't that Vietnamese? What? It's not the, yeah. It, it, uh. And I'm like, she's Japanese. And really? You really? Really? And, she, and we had to leave and we left. Wow. That's how crazy. Wait, so what? what's that accent? Is that Oh, Hungarian, okay. Eastern European. Yeah, the, you know, they're damaged. Was your family, like, are you Italian, Italian? Like so my grandmother, my grandmother, um, rest her soul, li came here at uh, 10 years old from Sicily. She was one of those Ellis Island, like, yeah. just showed up at 10 alone. You just showed up at 10 and was Bananas. like. And it showed up at 10, couldn't Bananas. speak a lick of English. Oh and then my mother's, I'm, a lot of people don't know because I'm my last name and I look at uh, Sicilian. But what a my, great name, by my, the way. My, um, yeah, thank you. Verzi. My, my, Verzi. Uh, my mother's Greek. My mother's 100% Greek. Okay. So I'm, I'm 50, I'm Sicilian and Greek. But yeah, they, so the, the, the older ones came, you know, from there. But my mother's side was more Americanized and, and my, you know, my father was born here. Jeez. You know, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's just that Sicilian. He told them to get away from it, the table. I'll, I that I is so I funny. know it so vividly right now. I I don't like it was like the sun was going down. It was dinner time, <laughs> and there were a few seats left, and they were like, "You guys go over there." And this Chinese family, and my dad sucked his teeth so loud and was like, "No!" And he like looked at the tour, he looked he looked at the tour guide like, "How can you do this no. to me?" Oh, yeah. And and did they leave? Did they get up and leave? I I, I don't know. I, they might have. I, that is I don't, so funny. I, me and my brother just shut down after that. I of honestly course. don't even know if they <laughs> no. sat there or like down there. The end. Like it was just like he has nothing. In, my father <laughs> has a zero in common with somebody like Chinese yeah. from another country. He can't even. He can't do it. If it's not like New York street talk, <laughs> or just like just like uh, how you doing? Is the food's delicious? Right, it's like if it's not that, or like he can't, he can't talk. They would be like, I don't understand what this man is saying. So he's just so New York. Like, is he just because he's so like? There are some people like if you're born in New York City, you grow up in New York City. All you know is New York City, and they're so embedded, yeah, in the culture. But he's very much about like a man needs a nice watch. 
Yeah. A man needs nice shoes, a nice car. I love it. You know, he would judge people. He'd be like, this fucking uh. guy's in his 40s in a Toyota. What the <laughs> fuck is this? This guy's got a fucking, this guy's got a Ford with babies in the car. Like, he would, he would be like, never do that. <laughs> never fucking do that. Look at that. Make, you gotta make money. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I but was he's just, right. No, he's right. He's right. He's, like, yeah. Here's the thing. All these old school, hard ass immigrant things. Yeah. My mother's not right about the woman being racist. Uh, you know, that's not true. But but I agree about this stuff. Like, And, and this is what people are afraid to fucking say out loud now. And yeah. it makes me crazy. Like, your dad's right. Like, oh, yeah. if you're going to have a family, I don't know what his accent, but yeah, have money, have nice things. Don't just bring a child yeah. into the world and be yeah. fucking poor. Like, his, what are you doing? His funny thing is everybody's crazy. Now. Yeah. So like, these people... Dad. These people yeah. are crazy, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. It's sick. <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> I haven't even talked to him since Tucker Carlson got fired. Uh -oh, and Tucker, <laughs> Tucker's his motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Tucker Carlson is my dad's fucking. Uh -oh. My dad's like, nobody tells the truth like Tucker. And it's funny to hear my dad say the name Tucker like that. Tucker. Because it's such a nerdy yeah. name. He goes, he goes, he goes, Paul, I swear to God. He goes, Paul, 8, eight o'clock, Fox News. Tucker. The guy's name is Tucker Carlson. <laughs> he goes, he's the only one telling the fucking truth. Okay, talk. They don't want talk. And you know what he said to me though a month ago? It. He goes like this. He it. goes, "Fox is too <laughs> left for Tucker." <laughs> and dude, he was right though. Yeah, he was like, "Fox doesn't want." I'm telling you, they don't <laughs> like Tucker. He's the only one because these people are crazy. They're <laughs> sick. <laughs> and then he'll call me up. He goes, "Nothing, nothing." He goes like, this. "He's very nothing, when, he, nothing, when he talks about the family." Really when, when he talks about the family, <laughs> yeah. he gets lower. Yeah. But so he'll just be like, you know, what are they, you know, I don't get to see my grandkids. You know, he's very much like, I hope they know I'm in their life, even though I'm down here. And he goes, he goes, I love my grand. He goes, but can I just ask, you know, you and Stacy are on top of what they're teaching them, right? Because these people oh, are yeah. sick. <laughs> he goes, you know, one time Christian, I'm gonna my, pee on myself. my older brother, my, I older, love bro this shit. my, my older brother, Christian, uh -huh. he goes, yeah, you know, because even back then he goes, Christian was at home economics, came home with a cupcake. And 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 then the next day he knitted me a fuck. So I called the principal, and he goes, "What the fuck is going on over there with my son? Is he gonna come home in a dress?" My father said that in nineteen. My, my father said that shit in nineteen eighty three. Amazing. He goes, "This kid came home with a cupcake and he knitted me a shirt or something." Like, what's what's going on? He actually said it. he said to the principal, "He goes, what's going on down there?" And the principal was like, "No, it's a home economics class. It's yeah. just something like that." But my, oh, now what? now with what my dad is seeing, he's like he's like, "You can't. You got to." He's so. Like, and then he always acts like he's like, he could understand other people. He's like, no, 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 I'll listen to everybody. I'll listen to everybody. But you know, what's right is that's his thing. What's right is right. Yeah, you what's know? right is but right. But I haven't talked to him since the Tucker Carlson firing, and I know no. it's going to be a good... You got to record that 30, conversation. It's going to be a thirty-something minute just yeah. on Tucker. You, you got to record this for your podcast. Oh yeah, he told. He, if you play it, <laughs> you should do it live. <laughs> it's going to be a good talk. A Patreon. Yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you Dude, people are. Getting, I, I would listen. I would pay to hear this conversation. People will get crazy with Patreon though, don't they? They're like, yeah, I'm taking my grandmother off hospice. Every go to my Patreon. You're gonna see her last breath. You're like, you know what I mean? why? Why Patreon? <laughs> you can see that on TikTok for free. I watch people die on TikTok all the yeah, time. See, like that. Look up death rattle. Oh, that just, shit's fucking amazing. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, but you know what? I'm trying to think. Like, why do I love this? I love East Coaster realness i love and i love it in black culture i love it in the east coaster i love it in immigrants there's something about yeah. look i don't have to agree with what your dad says sure, but his fucking conviction yeah and the ability to just be like this is what's fucking right in the world fuck you yeah, is yeah. so refreshing in today's world where people yeah. are so afraid yeah to say anything like i yeah. miss that time where people are like fuck you this is what i think okay fuck you this is what i think this is it yeah and and what sucks is it, it uh, it's refreshing for us because we're in a business where we got to watch and tiptoe a little bit. Oh, I'm done. And, 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 I'm done. Yeah. Once you do fucking Rogan's Club, you're yeah. going to be done tiptoeing. You're going to yeah. love it. You're yeah. going to love it. I just did uh I did a club. I just did the Denver Comedy Works. Oh, oh where you're going. And love. I couldn't I couldn't believe I like I it lived up to the love. Like I was like, how is this? And they were like saying that uh, Joe's Club is like the same. it's like You're going to move to Austin. It's Prepare insane. to move here. It's insanity and the, the audiences are so down. And I think that Besides, beyond the coasts, it's the West Coast and the East Coast that are so into this bullshit agenda. The rest yeah. of the country, I don't think they're as no. on board. No, they're, no. They're, they're forcing this. Hollywood especially is forcing this bullshit on everybody yeah. else. You go through your fucking, yeah. your, not Netflix, but through um, like Apple TV just at the end of the night. Yeah. And it's like women directors, trans directors, people of color. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. 
Yeah. Who's doing what? Is it yeah. a good story? Yeah. I don't care what color anybody is. Yeah, I don't is. care I'll about the it. first Indian female yeah. skydiver. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't it, give a fuck if she's the first Indian <laughs> skydiver. Did she fucking die? Because I'll watch that. <laughs> I know. Did the parachute not open? I know. And it's interesting. So my, my youngest son is into, oh, he goes, call me. He's like, I Scarlet, call me Scarlet. And I go, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get nervous. I'm like, is this so we got to have the fucking That's conversation? That's funny. And well, then I, I, so I bring it up to my therapist and I was like, what is the shit <laughs> that my kid, yeah. is my kid, yeah. is he trans? Like what the, yeah. what? And she goes, Christina, she talks to me like I'm your dad. Yeah. Like I'm like from uh, the yeah. 1970s, which yeah. I am. Yeah. And she's like, um, yeah, now they make heroes that are female. And I was like, wait, what? Like, cause growing up, yeah, yeah. I just watched Superman or Batman <laughs> or whatever man. Yeah. And I pretended that I was the incredible Hulk. Like it didn't register to me that they yeah. were male right. characters. Right. I just loved the hero well, right. paradigm. And yeah. I never thought, I never right. limited myself. Oh, I'm a woman. I never right. thought of myself as just a woman. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's lovely now that little boys apparently can watch girl shit and, look at women as heroes. And I think that's really lovely. Uh, that being said, just a sidebar before I forget, yeah. good news, you guys. Uh, I don't know if you know, we have the Laverne Cox trans uh, Barbie. We have uh, the tr totally heterosexual uh, Ken. That's Ken today, by the way. The guy in the black. No. That's Ken. That's the new Ken? That's just Ken today. And that's the first Ken. So it's nice to compare and contrast. Uh, secondly... Good news, Mattel has finally, you guys, uh, I finally saw, oh, I saw this. come out with the Downs Syndrome oh, Barbie. Yeah. Great. Oh, we've all been wanting it. We've been dying. I've had I've had petitions going for years. And finally, the down and she's hot. Look, hey, she's uh she's very attractive. Now, how many have these have we purchased, Josh? I don't think they're for sale yet, or at least they weren't she, when they were first announced. But okay, we will well, stock up. Don't worry. I, I want to be on the newsletter. I want to be on the first to know when they come out. I'm buying as many as we can for the studio. <laughs> she looks like she's got it together, though. That's that's <laughs> <laughs> like you know, you know what I mean? that's what my husband said. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. She's got like, it together. Like, yeah, I, yeah, you know what I mean. She like, doesn't look downs enough. She's not down enough. Is you, that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I heard uh, I heard on the radio too, though. Mattel, I'm not even making this up to sure. like go along. Mattel, they're going to do a, uh, they're doing a Barbie with a hearing aid, a wheelchair, and uh, sure. prosthetics. And I, <laughs> I've been petitioning for years because they want things to be realistic. <laughs> It's like, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, you have to be realistic. Then fucking get it rid of Ken because when that bitch is in a chair, he's out. <laughs> you know, alone, Barbie. There's just like Ken. Alone. There's just Ken in a Lamborghini <laughs> with his bags packed in the back of it. He's like, Ken's in a window like this <laughs> with a fucking with a yeah. chick with real legs. See you later, bitch. <laughs> Dude, that prosthetics. People are gonna be like, I well, think the toy's missing parts. Jesus Christ. I mean, in all in all seriousness, my kids would love a prosthetic limb Barbie. That might be the only Barbie they would ever really play with because they could yeah. rip it apart and torture it. I mean, but really, do we need it represented? Like, how many people have you intimately that, known in your life with yeah. prosthetic limbs? Let's be honest. I've known one girl I was friends with yeah. in junior high. She yeah. did have prosthetic limbs. One person, and I met a lot of motherfuckers. Yeah, well, because the thing is, not having it doesn't mean you're not paying attention to it. Not or sympathetic like, to like it. Like sympathetic to it, you'd be like, oh, there are people I understand that are wheelchairs, but to like turn the toys into, yeah, it's like it's make it's probably gonna make kids feel guilty and bad. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. know. We'll I don't see know. how it shakes out. Unless, unless everybody's getting it. Yeah, I mean, look, I I know that they sold. Okay, I do know this because I have an inside scoop in Mattel at Mattel. Oh, nice. I do. And the person no longer works there, so they told me the truth. So I, I said to her, I go, tell me the fucking truth. Of all the numbers that you guys do on these dolls, yeah. what is the best seller? Is it Fatso Barbie? Is it Down Syndrome Barbie? Right. Is it fucking Trans Barbie? You tell me. No, they don't have a fat Barbie, do they? Of course they do. No, they don't. Yeah, of course. They're... Like pregnant fat or like just like just, eating? No, like fucking Lizzo. Don't they have no. like a fatso Barbie now? Yeah, like she's heavier, bigger, thicker thighs. Yes. Trust me. You they make them. They me. make them regular size now so that they don't look high. So I asked her, I asked plus size Barbie. 
Yeah, man, I'm telling you. They want to represent every fucking Yeah, man. but they but she didn't blow out. <laughs> she didn't fully blow out. You know, like, oh <laughs> maybe she did. <laughs> No, Maybe she did. Is it? No, no. Plus size Barbie sparks online debate over body image. Oh, this okay. is real. I want them to be so fat like those TLC. Does it have a detachable foot for the diabetes? <laughs> <laughs> or a couch that she can just <laughs> melt to? Or, or you know what I want her to be a like? couch? Yeah. Like on those fucking, like those two fat sisters on the TLC <laughs> show. <laughs> they should have two of them that you can mesh into a couch together. A toy bag of Doritos. Oxygen tanks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fat sauce. He comes with a sleeve of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like a, a bucket that you can hose them off in. You know when they get extra those fatsos and they got the fucking the the tub in the front the front uh, yard and they hose them down. Oh, They're so shit, fat, dude. With sores too, they all get sores. Oh in my god, the fat rolls. You fucking oh, it, it just comes with an assistant with a hose. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bitches. Uh. So I asked, oh fuck, dude, I'm crying. So I asked her. Ugh. I asked her. I go, which of these bar? Tell me the truth. Are you guys even making money on? So they're like wheelchair Barbies and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm just curious what the numbers are. There's yeah. no fucking way. You know, Q <clears throat> Q3, you guys were selling Fatso Barbie. The, you right, mean to tell me every right. eight year old girl in America is like, I want to buy the fat Barbie? No fucking way. So she goes, as she goes, I'll tell you the truth. Yes, actually, regular Barbie, old school. Blonde, pretty Barbie is the the hit. Okay, of, yeah, of course. Normal yeah. size fucking Barbie. Yeah, with nice tits and a yeah. normal body. And she goes, the other stuff doesn't really sell well, but it's done for optics, so that people know that we're woke or whatever. It's, it's, like, it's okay. It's for the company to look like they yeah. are being inclusive with everybody. It's, bu- it's but like, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's like yeah. Budweiser choosing to have. Uh, Dylan Mulvaney on. Yeah, yeah. It's like, guys, know your audience. Like, you really fucking think some guy working on site, on a construction site, is going to be stoked to see Dylan Mulvaney's face on his fucking beer can? Like, it's not. It's not for that audience. It's, Stop. It's, it was somebody who tried, who made a horrible decision just based on what they think people like. Yeah. To, and it was, yeah, dude. And then I love how, like, right after, like, she took a leave of absence, they just got the horses back. The Clyde. Wait, tell me everything. So, so we, I don't know what happened. So, so tell me. So. The executive went on and was just like, so when they hired, she had to do an explanation. And like, she was like, so when they hired me, like the company was like not doing, like we needed help. And she's like, so I thought we can come up with this campaign. That's what she said. And then they lost 5 billion. Um, And then after they lost 5 billion, I think she like went on like a leave. And then like the the, the president of (laughs) Anheuser-Busch wrote a letter. And then like the next ad, the Clydesdale was back. chugging along. (laughs) There was like a cowboy with guns. Yeah, we're back. (laughs) Yeah, because that's the brand. Yeah, exactly. And it's okay. I'm not, and it's okay. It has nothing to do to be against. See, like, we're not saying anything against Dylan Mulvaney or anything like that. But that's not the, that's not your demographic. That's not the fucking brand. So stop trying to force it on people that it's not their agenda. And that's not to say that every Bud Light drinker is against trans people. Of course, to force that shit down their throat. Yeah, I don't know why people are losing ammunition though, shooting it. You know, people are like shooting. You saw that, right? No, what do you mean? You didn't see like the Kid Rock thing and all that? Oh, I heard something. Sorry. If it's not on TikTok and I'm telling you, I don't know. No, so like people are now like getting their their uh, guns. Oh, geez. And they're like making they're making a whole display. Yeah. And they're just <laughs> shooting it. And it's like you're gonna lose rounds and money and yeah, like, you know, it's like that. a little it's like a little much. Oh, that's a little much. Now see that's hateful. That uh, and I like Kid Rock, but what's he saying? Let's hear his I want to hear what the argument is. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. (laughs) Holy shit, dude. It's like, I don't know. Okay, well, look, he doesn't like it. He's not into it. He's probably, yeah, he's a Bud Light drinker. See, that's where I go. I'm a Bud Light drinker. That's where I'm like, that's an excess. You don't it. need that. Yeah, yeah you don't need to get your gun out yeah. and waste ammo yeah. and then be like, have a good day. Yeah. Like, I think yeah. saying it could be the point. You yeah, know? I agree. It's a little too much. Like, <laughs> cool your fucking jets. <laughs> yeah. But those are the same guys that are like, all these fucking gays, they're just hitting on me. You know, like, that's, that's the guy who thinks that gay guys are into him. <laughs> you know, like, who needs a pride parade? Why do they need a parade? Like, yeah. shut the fuck up. Yeah. No yeah. one's into you, shitbag. Yeah, people get a little like too much. They go too hard the yeah. other way, right? I agree. Like yeah. I have empathy for Dylan Mulvaney and all that, but it's like uh, that's not a good fit. And if they weren't funny, the spots weren't funny. Had they been funny, 
you could have transcended all of this. Like, had That's the right. spots been, like, yeah. really funny. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it, had some fucking crazy Guido sitting next to him talking shit, and he talk, they, she talked shit back really well, or whatever the fuck it is. See, she didn't want to do that. What she, that's what she should have done. Yeah. She should have been like, let's show both sides yeah. joking with each other yeah. and then drinking it. That's yeah. exactly right. It would have been cool. And yeah, that, that could have been funny. Yeah, that would have been really funny, actually. Or, or if she was able to kind of poke fun at herself. You know what I mean? Like, Dude, like my dad sitting next to Dylan Mulvaney yeah, would be like the greatest I mean. commercial that's ever. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. And I bet they would find a way to get along and it would be, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's just tone deaf. It was fucking so yeah. stupid. And, and Dylan Mulvaney is so fucking annoying. I, I'm so annoyed with her. It's just so over the top. Like, calm the fuck down, dude. It's like <laughs> These theater geeks, you know, like, they're always yeah, so it's jacked It's always up. over the top. Yeah, yeah. Like, relax, bitch. <laughs> Do you want to be a woman that bad? Okay, you're there. <laughs> Give it a few years. Trust me, it's not that exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. I wish I were a guy. Yeah, yeah it's so God fun. damn. Oh, I. You know what? I love vag dryers. Do we have any vag dryers for him on deck? Uh, emails only. <laughs> so I'm doing yeah. this segment, Paul. Maybe you could help me out. Called vag dryers. These huh. are things that men do that immediately dry up my vagina. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Now, do you as a man have any? I thought you were going to have shrinkers. like an ad for something that was like a legit, <laughs> <laughs> like, like a, a Gwyneth product? Paltrow fucking like product. I was like, oh shit. All right. <laughs> a badge dryer. Oh, I wish I had a badge dryer. Like, yeah. Just like right when you're done, I'd probably be comfortable. All right. I could use one of those. <laughs> um, this is funny. Uh, this person writes in Hey, mommies, my badge dryer is loud chewing. It makes me want to Ooh. murder people. I have to leave the room when my husband eats nuts and popcorn, which is off. Uh, excuse me. Love you, Shay, in Wisconsin. Loud chewing. Loud chewing is is definitely mm. you know it's not yeah, great. It's not great. It's not it's not great. I would say though, I know people are going to be like, what? Still farting in front of your significant other? Wow. Is is you know it's funny. My wife said to my wife said to me back in the day when we were like dating and it was like cute to fart in front of each other. Yeah. And then after a while, she was just like, I think it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> she just goes, I think, I think it's enough. And do you know what? Since then, I was like, yeah. I was like, how, how dare me? Oh wow, Paul. Try to get laid. No, think about this though. I how know, dare I me? I'm, I'm trying I'm, to get laid. I'm trying to God. maybe catch a beach. Yeah. Right. I'm trying, yeah, and then all of a, a sudden, beach. and then all of a sudden, I'm gonna do that. You know what? No, fuck me. Wow. You know, it's so like annoying. I need to, I need to be like, no, I can't because I don't want her to do that. If she was like, hey, would you come to the bedroom? Just starts ripping ass. I'd be like, no, nah, dude, no. Nah. So, so. I would say like the, yeah, as much as I know people think it's cute and like I, you know, I, I can't fuck with that, dude. I can't, a, a, a bodily gas coming out of your ass and then trying to be intimate, it just can't happen, dude. If my wife farted loud in front of me, dude, at least four or five days have to go by before for me to kind of forget about it, like, and then try to get back. Don't show this clip to Tom, okay? <laughs> Whatever you do. Yeah, I can I tell you something? I think you just did. I think I just... <laughs> I think so. You far listen, in front listen, of, yeah. I'm the Paul in the relationship where Okay. Like so, I rip ass, bro. And yeah, I think yeah. Tom's over it. It's been a good seventeen years. He's he doesn't like it. Now he's telling me he's like, Don, I don't want the farting. And I was like, I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we? Because you know yeah. your mom's house, this is the house that farts built. So right, 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 right. You know, he's changing though. We're middle aged. We're changing. Yeah. This is the sec the third quarter. So maybe I got I got to change. That's one thing that I did. Like she does. Like she won't either. Like she won't like, fart. Like she'll fart, but not like she won't just rip ass with me right there. <laughs> and thank God. And thank God. I can't. I can't hear it. I can't. You know, we've been we've been through a lot. Gosh. That's that's not a corner I want to turn where we just let that happen. I understand. Here's the deal, man. Is that I think what it is is when I was pregnant with both of our kids and uh, I was given yeah. birth. That's different. And yeah, you're just so you're, like you don't uh, care. You're just yeah. going through it. Yeah. And now that our children are older and I'm like put together a bit more, you're yeah. right. Maybe I should. Well, do you go out of your way to fart on him? Yeah. Okay. See, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dick. Yeah, like, yeah. That's tough. Like I'm you're a you're trying asshole. to fart on him. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, I'll walk over to him when he's just waking up and like fart right near him. But we also have two little boys who yeah. fart on him constantly. Like fart jokes are a huge part of our home. That's different. And maybe thank you. I agree. No, now that's we're, you're convincing me to stay a shitty person. <laughs> maybe if my wife farted on the on me like a lot in the morning, I would maybe I would get past. Maybe that's what I need to, for her to over to just like overdo it, the market, and then yeah. me just not to have to worry about it. Be like, ah, I'm you know, let's get naked anyway. But do you brown in front of each other? 
Um, no. No, that see, that's where Tom and I have always drawn the line. We do oh, not I thought you were gonna say something else. I was like, brown. dude, you guys are fucking open. No. no. I don't I I hear what happens through the wall <laughs> and that's enough. See, I don't, like, you know what's funny? When she goes in and the door closes, I I can't hear it. I have to leave. You have to leave. Yeah, yeah, because if I hear it, it'll stick with me. I'm out. Yeah, you're so smart. Yeah. I can't have that. I can't have that in my head. I know. If she's just ripping the fuck out of the toilet and then she comes back <laughs> in the room like, hey, what is, what's for dinner? Ripping ass. I'm like, yeah, nah. What if you could have, you know when you go, to, I don't know if you say a shrink, <laughs> but they have sound machines. <laughs> Like, could we put like a soundproofing? We should soundproof the toilet room. We should soundproof uh, the toilet room. Oh, shit. We got the money. Let's do it. Uh, okay. Here's another one. Uh, Here's another vag dryer. Uh, beard ponytails. I love a beard and facial hair on my man. <laughs> Recently, he's been joking about putting his beard in a ponytail, and I'm getting horrified. He went out to the grocery store a few days ago and bought hair ties and proceeded to put his beard in a ponytail. I think he was joking. Ugh, I realized how this how dry this trend makes my vag. It's the ultimate vag dryer. I, I She's hundred percent right. I couldn't agree more. Oh, She's a, it's, it's actually on. perfect. But hold on, except for that handsome fella when he does it. What's his name again? Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. <laughs> Yo, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, but put the, yeah, yeah, I know, but that's not on him. Right. But put it on like an intern making fucking thirty yeah. K. <laughs> yeah, this guy sucks. <laughs> this guy doesn't get to do it. Yeah, that guy. That yeah. guy doesn't get to do it. Fuck you, yeah. Jason. Jason Momoa gets to do whatever he wants. Ugh. Oh, wow. Is that him now, oh, John Travolta. Travolta? Dude, he looks what? crazy. That is weird. Is he doing the um Steven Seagal darkening of the? Ugh. I hate when guys do that. That is a bad dryer for me. When a man is supposed to be gray ish. And then they black out the beard and black out the brows and the hair. Like, and it's just what are so you doing? overly. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah it's... And then they get the veneers that are too white and it makes you look dead. You look like a skull with it's teeth. Weird. Yeah. And you get like too And white. I heard when you get veneers, they have to like shave down all your teeth. It's terrible. Sh- like I have to do it because I knocked out this tooth as a kid. I have, I have a couple. But oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But not like, so you're talking about people that, there are people that do it. The whole, the whole row, mouth. Bro. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And like, I got to tell you, real talk. Yeah. It doesn't look good unless you get them like really, yeah, pr- like natch because they look so white and big like billboards, you know. It's yeah, not cute. I just gave like ten grand to the dentist to just get stuff done, Stop. and uh, and he fucking poked me in the he poked me in the lip when not paying attention with something, and then he like rubbed like scuffed my head, and I was like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah, is he like, drunk? It was so weird, and I was like, and then I sent him a pi- I sent Bobby Kelly a picture of him. And Bobby was like, dude, go to my guy, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at Bobby. that fucking guy. <laughs> Look at that fucking that. guy. <laughs> that's great. Is that good? Dude, that's Ooh, great. love Bobby Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Where's he? Where are you going to this fucking guy? He's poking you <laughs> in the fucking... Uh, where is he? Uh, so what did you have done at the dentist? I love dental talk. That's my favorite. Um, I had to get a bridge. No. I had to get a... What? What is a bridge? Explain so a, br- a bridge is like if they can't put an implant because there's not enough bone for the screw to go in. Then you still need a tooth oh. there. So what they do is they cap the two teeth on the next to it, and then a tooth goes in the middle. Fuck. So that's what, yeah. And then I just get an implant and stuff. But like, it's like a lot of work, and it's multiple, it's multiple visits because then they need to get a mold of it. And then once they get the mold of the implant, then they send the permanent. Then they got to screw it in, but they cut fuck, your gums. Fuck. They, yeah. Why are you doing Like, what happened it's, to it's, you that you have to do this? I had an infection really bad, and the tooth had to come out. Luckily, there's plenty of, like, bone and graft there for them to put in something. But it just, it oh sucks. My God, yeah, I'm so sorry. It, su- it was like, I was just there, and like, and I'm like, easygoing and nice, yeah. but it sucked. So yeah. I was just like, hey, He's like, are you okay, Paul? I'm like, eh. I'm, dude, I'm bleeding. And it was just, I was tired and my mouth was Novocaine. He's like, you can't eat for four hours. And I was just, it sucked. Uh, the, yeah. s- the sound of a screw going into your skull sounds terrible. It's like, and you hear the grinding and it's just vibrating your head. Yeah. Any dental work is that? Well, is, cap is, or no cap? Is going to the dentist. <laughs> How could that be cap? I don't even know. How, I mean, I could probably find a way. What does well, cap mean? Like, what is the cap? Lies, what is bullshit? Cap is is like yeah, today's way of saying uh, bullshit. Yeah. So okay. What mm-hmm. about getting like regular cleaning and stuff? Like every six months, is that cap? No, that's self care. No, that's not okay. cap. I just didn't know where you stood. <laughs> is showers cap? Is taking a shower cap? <laughs> Air is cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we do a Pajitsky effect or two? Do you have time? 
Yeah. I, I love talking with you. Yeah, no, this okay, is great, man. Let's do so a Pajitsky effect. What time is it? Let me Appreciate see. you having me. This oh is fun. Oh my gosh, man. I adore you. Oh, you're uh, welcome back anytime. Oh, I'd love for you to do your mom's house too uh, next time you're in town. Dude, you guys are We're so on hiatus. Dude, right I now. heard you barking the other day <laughs> and I fucking lost control of myself. Thank you. Dude, I lost but here's you know what we want to but you want to know the funniest part about that was? You want to know the funniest part about that whole clip was? Is when you go, I know I can't help it. I just can't help it. Was when you said, I want to practice. That's your humor. That's why I, That's why you're so funny. Because you, you were just it's like, really pumping you, me you were like, look, and you're like, I, I want to practice it. And then you <laughs> fucking started growling <laughs> before the fucking thing. And I was like, I know a little dog that does that. Yeah. They, they have that. It's like a yeah. snarl. And dude, when you said, I want to practice, yeah. I was like, she's the funniest. I'm practicing now. Yeah. We, that clip just came out and I'm practicing. Can yeah. you make any good animal sounds? No. You, do you, you don't I have any that you're really good? Sound, Can you no. make a chicken? Bark, bark. <laughs> bark, bark. <laughs> you need to work yeah, on your chicken. <laughs> you need to work. Yeah, my chicken is like slow and yeah, yeah. Bark, bark, timid. Can you, you do any? Your, can I you can do, do any? You I, do. I practice. I do practice my animal sounds. Are you ready? You, yeah. Okay, here's my chicken. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> what <laughs> what the fuck was that good dude palm bone your man what the fuck i'm so embarrassed i went bark, 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 bark. <laughs> you just gotta practice That's, it's like dude, ten thousand hours was, you just yeah. gotta put the time in oh my god <laughs> can you do impressions of people or no um okay i can't not really would you want to see my goat yeah okay ready what <laughs> What? Yeah. Uh, come oh back. Next God. time you come back, I want you to work on these. Really work on it. Dude, that was fucking Thank like, you. where do you do this? How do you I practice? practice at home. Do your kids see you do this? Yeah. <laughs> your kids must think they have the I'm coolest insane. mom. Yeah, but they must be like, she's a little wacky, but she's the, the fucking wacky. greatest. Well, you know what I want to do is foster an environment where nothing is embarrassing. Because I feel like I had a, a great mentor that got that loosened me up <laughs> when I was in my late 20s. Like, because yeah. I worked in. Um, I was a punch-up writer in animation. And he would make an ass of himself in the writer's room a lot. And I was like, oh, I get it. You just don't give a fuck, do you? And he didn't give... And like what you were saying, yeah, yeah. apropos our earlier discussion about death yeah. and dying, you're going to be fucking dead. Yeah. You're going to be fucking dead. See, is anyone going to give a fuck and, that I and, just did a goat sound? But no, no. And, and that's people don't look at life like that. They take themselves too seriously. Yeah. And they don't realize it's like, dude, we're all... You're going to die. Just, but it is funny to, to picture your seven and four-year-old... <laughs> Looking at you like this in a mirror. <laughs> You're practicing. <laughs> You're doing it. You yeah. try. You try. Yeah. You can do it. I can't do Come that. On. I can, There's no way I could do that. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, that's so. That's wild, dude. Yeah. That's I'll wild. I'll work on some other ones. That's okay, great. let's do one Pajitsky effect and then we'll we'll go. I do have to pick up my kid from school. So, oh, sorry. Let me explain to you. Pajitsky effects are where yeah. you do something stupid mm -hmm. your entire life. Yeah. Um, for instance, the first one we ever had was Tom and I, for the longest time, would share one phone charger for years uh -huh. and then it finally occurred to us you can buy two, two right. or three or four like shit like that yes where you're like I can just do that so yeah. let's let's listen to these these are so funny hey mommy this is Danny from Seattle I, I have a Fajitsky effect for you so for my family during holidays or special events we always cook lasagna and for the last three weeks, I have been really craving lasagna and just telling myself, I know where this I is really going. wish I could eat lasagna. Yeah. But then I realized that I could just make lasagna. She's going to wait. It doesn't have to be a special yeah. event. I can just make yeah. it. So here I am sitting with a wonderful plate of lasagna that I'm going to have to eat all my, by myself. Yeah. Um, you bet I'm coming up on May. Piss on me, beat me. Love you, dude. Piss on me, Bye. beat me. Yeah, the, the, the idea, you know what she's saying? It's like, do you know that you can eat, by the way, Paul Verzi, yeah. you can eat Thanksgiving food. Anytime. At all times. I know. Right now, you and I can just make Thanksgiving dinner and eat it. I know. It's, it's like crazy. We're, we're set with these rules. Yeah. Or like that we think are. Yeah. I know. You can do whatever the fuck. You can eat whatever food whenever, seasonally. Yeah, one thing my kids like to do, because it happened with my wife's family, was they do like... They'll just have dessert and, and breakfast for any time or like dessert before dinner. So they'll do they'll blew my mind. they'll do pies and they'll do cookies and things like that and then just go, maybe we'll have dinner later, but it's gonna be dessert dinner. That's a and, and here's the deal, man. Yeah. You're right. Like what's the what's the reason you can't? Like, is it Chad, is it is it like so unhealthy 
to have sugary things before your healthy thing? Is it is it a big deal? What do you mean, like? Like, with- why don't people do that more? Like, why can't I have pie and then an hour later have dessert? Like, why do we keep the dessert for after the meal? Is there a uh, reason for that? I don't know if there's a reason for that. It's more like a treat after you've had the proper thing to eat, I think. Mm. So why not spoil yourself and have your treat first? Why not? Just why, do, my mind. why do people like, ah, oh, you know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to get to the ocean and have like a mojito. It's like, just make one now. Yeah. Make one now. Make one now. Somebody's going to die. Somebody was like, oh, my dad is, uh, what's the, the wine people called? Somebody, Sommelier. Yeah. He's like, my dad gave me this, but he's one of those and he gave me a bottle of something great and he took it from him and he goes, oh, dad, thank you so much. He goes, like, we're going to save this for an occasion. And the dad goes, no, the occasion's now. Uh, the occasion's now. 100%. What do you wait? We wait for, so, what are we waiting on? What are you waiting on? Yeah. And like, I did this with clothes for the longest time where I would buy a shirt yeah. or something nice and be like, but I got to save it. I got to save You're it. You're the first person I ever heard say it like that. Really? Yeah. Clothes. You say clothes. How do I say? How, you say, how did you just say it? Clothes. Yeah. I've never heard anybody say what? like that. Is that wrong? I say no, a lot so of things you say wrong because I'm you a say foreigner. It right. But you say it like, like Cl- the real. Clothes. How do you guys say it? Clothes. Clothes. How about you? I, I yeah, say, do clothes. I say it wrong or? No, no yeah, close, 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 close. Yes, close. you just you're the first, but you said close. Such a foreign. No, no, you said it like the, the way that it's spelled, close. but I've never heard that. But I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I love when people when like, we find these things that like people say differently. Yeah, that, that's amazing. Clothes. Okay, let's hear how how the computer says it. Clothes. Clothes. So it's clothes. clothes. It's, it's like in between. Clo- but, yeah, but you're the right it's way. In between clothes. We're just so sh- clothes. 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 Yeah, you say it. Yeah, well, it's technically you. her. <laughs> but I just say clothes. Where are my clothes? Yeah, but my so, clothes. So you say you bought a shirt. How, yeah. Oh yeah. And like, don't save it. Do you bought a shirt? <laughs> don't. Uh, don't. Don't. Don't save it. Yeah. What are you saving it for? You could fucking die tomorrow, and you didn't wear. Yeah. You know what I did one time? I got into I got into a hit and run accident. Oh, Someone wow. hit me. Yeah. And I that day I woke up and I was like, I'm gonna wear the fucking craziest outfit to draw my kids off. I'm gonna wear this like crazy Mrs. Roper like fucking kimono <laughs> and i did it i was like i don't give a shit and of course i got to a car wreck that day so like the police come and i'm dressed like the fucking lunatic from the 70s like hi everybody I'm Mrs. <laughs> you Rose. gotta say you're on a movie yeah, set yeah i was like oh, yeah. i'm fucking insane <laughs> they, they recognize my husband thankfully so okay one more pajitsky effect and then we're gonna go i just love having you oh, you're welcome thank you. back this is so you're fun. so fun you gotta do Dr. Hey, Bobby. Food. This is Carla from Ohio and longtime listener. Love your show. Thanks, Mom. Um, I had a Pajitsky effect. Um, I was crafting, doing some, making some cool things for gifts, and um, I was using an X Acto knife that has refillable blades. And I've had this for like a couple years. Well, anyway, I was using it. It's super dull. It's super annoying. It never works that well. And I just always put up with it because why should I get anything better? Well, I realized I could just <laughs> fucking Google how to replace the blade on the knife. Oh, uh, yeah. And instead of dealing with this stupid dull knife, I could use a perfectly sharp one. And it was so much easier than the dull one. So that's my Pajitsky effect. I'm an idiot. Ta-ta there, retard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know that you can sharpen your knives? With the thing, right? That one thing. Not even that, brute. Like, that's the one step where you're like, I got to do like a quick. Sh- yeah, sh- yeah. There's a fucking thing you can buy on Amazon where you, it, like, it's electric and you run you just your knife. Take it and, and it's done. Yeah. And it's the most fun you'll ever have is sharpening your knife. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, 100 bucks, and you've, like, got fresh knives. There's so many things that are out there for our convenience that we just it's, don't even know. No, about. it's like we like the pain. Yeah. <laughs> You ever think that we just <laughs> like, we just deal? You yes! just fucking deal with shit. That's what I'm saying. That's my whole life. Is I've just been like, you know what? For the longest time, I wouldn't dry myself when I got out of the shower. I would just like stay partially <laughs> wet and then try to put like fucking Lululemon pants that's on. Such and childhood get... trauma. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, that is literally tra- like that is your way of clinging on to something horrible that you for some. How wild is that? That's Tell, cr- you're that's, right. That yeah, is a trauma. That's a tra- that's a trauma. Why do you think that? Oh God, I'm, I gotta go back. Somebody beat me when I was trying to get <laughs> dried off. You, just, somebody was like, "Stay wet, you're punished," <laughs> and you're just like, "I deserve this." Uh, <laughs> my wife bought a whole Fuck. variety pack of different size Ziploc bags. I'm talking from like you can put a fucking chicken in a whole chicken in one down to like the kids snacks and everything Stop in between it. and it changed it my life blew my mind bro there's a, there's a zip there's a variety ziploc bag size Stop. 
And I'm talking this, I'm this, this, this. I know, zipper, I know. The whole fu- and I'm just going like, this is, it changes the game. It changes the game because I'll cram as much as I can into like the snacky size ones. <laughs> And then the gallon ones, I'm always opens. like, yeah. And the gallon ones, I'm like, oh, I don't deserve a gallon one. I can't possibly fill this. So I never use the gallon ones. Right? Because you're like, I'm only going to put like one apple in there. That's yeah. not enough. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Check out Paul Verzi's new special, Nocturnal Admissions, on Netflix. Listen to Bone to Pick with Bobby Kelly, his podcast, and The Verzi Effect. And anything better with Bill Burr, you're just a podcasting phenomenon. Well, we just started. Jesus we just Christ. we just started. Me and Bobby just started that. And and Verzi Effect, I really, to be honest, just got into studio in New York. Even though I've done it for years and years, just audio at home. Once pandemic happened, we kind of got my shit together with that. But uh, no, it, it's all it's all going great. And check me out on tour, man. I got a big tour, big tour going on right now. I'm coming to all the cities, but I don't know when this airs. When does this air? When does this one? Oh, five twenty two. Five twenty two. All right, well, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be in um, Hilarities in Cleveland. That's a great on, uh, one. Yeah, June 1st. I'm doing the Panita Theater in, I'm going to Idaho. Ooh. I'm going to, I'm going to Sandpoint, Idaho. What? Uh, June 8th, you could check that out. I got Side Splitters coming up in June. Nice. I have uh, the Punchline in Atlanta coming up. A bunch of dates. Just go to paulverzi.com. And uh, thank you so much for having oh, me, you're man. You're, you're really one of my favorites. You. So I'm it's so, so great. I'm honored. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming in early to do this. And I would fly. Dude, shows. honestly, I'm such a fan. I would have flown in just if I wasn't doing oh, spots for this. Lo- well, you have to do your mom's well, have house to do one next. Spot. We'll get you oh. on YMH. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, stay cool, moms. Thanks for listening. Subscribe. Buy my lipstick. Come see me on tour. I love you. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Meow. Hi, mommy. Thank you for watching that episode. Did you like what you see? I hope you did. So why don't you subscribe? Just click the subscribe button and, you know, hit the notification bell so you can get notified. And also, why don't you watch another video? What? Watch one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, down there, whatever. There's so much stuff, bro. I make these all the time for you to watch. That's why I'm here. I love you.